I've been asked to do this review for the Park for Night app, which I mentioned in my previous video. This is the app. It's called Park for Night. Um, this is the, the first page. So basically it has a map of the world. Um, this, the, my selection, so basically the ones that I've tagged. Um, places around me, places around a place that you want to go to. Um, quick search, offline. Park for Night Offline, um, which costs money. I'll get that into, into that a little bit later. Um, offline contributions, the latest uploads, so what um, what new campsites or parking places have been uploaded, and the latest comments from people who have commented. This is uh, to go pro, you click on that. I'm not pro yet, but I will be soon. So, um, we go in here. You can see I've been looking around Portugal, but if we click here on the right hand side, um, basically that's my location. And those are the parking areas um, and the so free parking. Um, if it's red, it means that it's paid parking. If it's blue, it means it's private, could be free, could be paid. Um, and if it's green, it's free. And then when you see these parking signs, basically they are park areas, places that you can boondock um, around. So let's choose, um, so you can see if we click on here, we refresh and then basically shows you, well, it should show you, all, probably it's just, we need to, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's chosen the South France. Um, you can see there's a lot of green, which is good. But let's go to northern Spain, which is always a nice area to visit. Um, San Sebastian, Santa Dare, Bilbao. So we're planning on going to San Sebastian, which is here. And so you can see here, basically there's one um, paid and then there's a bunch of free parking places and there's one free um, place to stay here. So I clicked on this one, so it's free, it's green. Uh, three and a half stars out of five, so it's okay. Shows you the distance away, so we're a thousand kilometers away. Um, five photos and 10 people um, would recommend the area or like the area and 18 comments. So if we click on that, brings us on here, in here um, gives you these photos so you can see uh, what does the place look like. Um, it's in French here, Spanish here. Sometimes you have English, sometimes you have German, sometimes you have Dutch, mostly French and Spanish. Um, see here, price of service is zero, co costing zero fifty spots. And here you can see water. Um, you can empty your, your toilet, you can empty your grey water, and there's a trash can, and there's a monument to see. It gives you a GPS location and the address. And here are the comments. So you can just copy paste, put those into Google Translate, um, and also gives you the stars. So you get a, get a feeling for um, what the place is like. So this one has quite a lot. Um, someone wrote here, it's no, it's no possible to full water tank. Um, I was 2015, maybe it's changed. So we go back then. Um, so it's probably an area we wouldn't stay in. It's a bit out of town. And we'd like to be able to go in with the bikes. So if we look here, you know, somewhere closer to the coast. Um, that's two and a half stars. No, great. Look here. That's four and a half stars. Six comments, one photo, four people like it. And it's very close to the center. So um, basically click on that and then we can see okay so there's one photo and it's basically a free road um, but attention it's um, from nine o'clock so that's something you need to to watch out for you don't go too early um, and then someone writes here something about I don't know I have to translate it but uh, I think it's one euro ten, probably. Um, to do so. 
to use the public um, showers at the beach. Toilets are free. Um, and there's a water point at the beach. There's a there's a bakery, bars, restaurants, etc. Um, so yeah, hot shower one euro ten. So it's some interesting, some good information. So that looks like a promising one. Or you know, if we want to go all out and spend some money, three and a half euros, or three euros thirty for twenty four hours. Um, looks like a decent place. Uh, water, uh, empty your toilet, empty your grey water, and you get your bins, you can go cycling, windsurfing, and there's monuments around, um, and it seems to have pretty good um, reviews. So that's, there are areas like this as well. Um, these are nature areas, so the beautiful spot at the top of the mountain with an amazing view of the sea. Um, also, you know, free, gratuit. Uh, so they have it in English and French and Spanish here. Um, and you can, you know, very good spot, quiet, not too big, slightly secret, blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, but anyways, the gist of it is, is that this is a very powerful app. I mean, you can zoom in so quickly, you know, when you're on the road and you say, look, you know, I want to go to uh, um, any of these areas, Foz, for example, and you just uh, go here, it's camping sites, um, you know, 300 meters from the beach. Uh, you know, there's a few words that you could just learn, Spanish or French, that'll help you understand that. Um, it looks like a great place. Um, you know, there's another one, new area, free motor home. So all in all, um, super useful app. It's got 37,000 different, um, locations on it. So, um, you know, there's France alone, which, which has, uh, I mean, it's basically covers the whole Europe. Um, you can see there's a lot less in Italy. Um, or the free ones. So, if you want to go pro, um, it's you can do monthly or yearly. Um, so you don't need to have internet if you go pro, which is pretty useful. Um, so it's one ninety nine a month or nine ninety nine um, a year. We will definitely go pro when we do our our month tour in July, or in June. Sorry. Um, so. Yeah, and you can add locations if you find them. But that's that's all in all. It's a really, really good app. So um, I would highly recommend it. And if you have any questions, just let me know.